Hey, hey, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Um, I'm glad I'm outside before I rain. I guess that's the best bit. I'm Amy Fearman from mommyincome.com, and today I'm bringing you our question of the week. We get questions from our students and our members all of the time, and we want to be able to share some of those responses, not individually, but to each and every one of you. So that is what I'm going to do today. Now, that being said, if you have a question you want to be featured on the question of the week, head over to mommyincome.com slash contact us and let us know in that form that you want to ask a question for question of the week and we will see what we can do about getting yours asked on Thursdays. We usually go live at 2.30 approximately on a Thursday afternoon. You know, life happens. But I'm here. I made it. And this question of the week actually comes from Daphne. And Daphne has just got her business started and she's trying to figure out which tools make the most sense to invest in where she's at right now. How do you know which tool to use when? And what is the most important tool or what are the most important tools you need to get started? Great question, Daphne. Thank you so much for asking that. This is one we hear often. There are so many shiny objects, so many things out there that you feel like when you're getting started, you need all of the things. Don't we wish? If we all had all of the money in the world, we all have all of the things. We don't always have that option. So what do we do? Now, I can tell you, here's X, Y, and Z. Now, everybody's going to be different than where they are the amount of money they have to invest in the amount of time. There are a number of things that are gonna go into deciding what makes sense for your business and where you're at right now. And so instead of giving you, here are the top 10 tools that you need, I'm gonna give you some questions to ask yourself to determine if the tools you're considering are the ones that you truly need in your business right now. So number one, can I start my business without this tool? It's really hard to run an online business without a computer and a smartphone. Can it be done? Yes, you can borrow somebody else's computer. Do you have to own your own? No, you do have to have access to one. But that's a really important question because a lot of times people feel like they need all of the things to be able to start the business. You don't need all the things. You just need to take one step at a time. And if you, the next one is, can I afford this or is it not a priority right now? Is it a priority for me to invest in merchant words right now when I haven't even sent in my first shipment? Probably not when you're going to be starting out to have merchant words right off the get-go unless you are creating your own listings from the start. So as I said, it depends on what kind of business model you have, whether you're doing retail arbitrage, wholesale, or creating bundles right off the bat. It really will depend which tools that you need. Another question, another way of wording that is, can I afford not to? One of the things that we came through in our, both of our businesses, both Chris and I, where there were certain tools that we will always recommend to people because they made our lives so much easier and we wished we had gotten them that much sooner. Now, a scanner. Not the scan fob that you attach to your phone when you're going at retail arbitraging, but the handheld scan that you use to scan the barcode into Seller Central or into Inventory Lab to not have to hand enter ISBNs or UPC codes. Trust me, it's worth the $25 to buy one on Amazon. It will save you more than $25 in probably the first week that you start using it and the time that you actually have to use it. So if you are interested in some of the tools that we talk about as far as getting started with that type of tool, you can go to mommyincome.com slash resources. That takes you to our resource page. We have an entire section on the tools that you need to get started, whether you want to start with them or if you want to be able to, as you bring in those disbursements, as you earn your first you know, couple dollars on Amazon, put some of that aside. Some goes to inventory, some goes to the next tool that I need to grow my business. You do not need a Dymo to start up. You can use 30 up labels. So know where you are and the kind of capital that you have to invest. Number three, this is one we see happen a lot. Are you considering investing in a tool because it's going to help you in your business because it's going to fill a need? Or do you have FOMO 
and you are buying a tool because there is a sales pitch that says it will never be this low again or this is going away we hear those all the time it's a marketing tool guys and we want you to be able to make a decision that makes sense there will always be new tools new shiny objects new things but you're going to run out of inventory dollars if you are spending all of your dollars on tools to find the inventory to buy. We don't want that to happen to you, so make sure that you are buying it for a reason that makes sense in your business right now. Not, well, I'll need it in six months. You don't need it in six months. You need what you need right now. You can earn up to that in six months. Don't worry about that particular thing right now. And heck, who knows? There could be a cheaper, less expensive option down the pike that might be a better fit for your business. Now, that all being said, those are the questions we ask even when we're buying tools for, whether it's for mommy income or for our Amazon businesses. Ask yourself the questions so that you really know that you're buying what you need right now. Now, this upcoming Monday, we're actually going in depth into our favorite Amazon seller tools. The ones that we use time and time again and have saved us time and money in our businesses. So if you would like to join us live for that, head over to theazfiles.com. Again, theazfiles.com to register for Monday night show. It's 9 o'clock Eastern, Monday night. If you can't attend live, no worries. We'd love to have you there. But if you can't attend live, register and head on over. Um, that, that way you can send it. We'll send you the replay direct to your inbox. You don't have to go hunt for it. We'll send it right to you so you can watch it and get all of that information. So theazfiles.com. And I have one more bit of information that I have to share because it's important. If you want to attend one of our Confident Wholesale Bundlers workshops, we have one seat left in Lansing at the beginning of March. Just one seat. So if you have been considering it, you're kind of on the fence, go to mommyincome.com slash workshop and snag that last seat. We do have one additional workshop, but it's not until August in Columbus, Ohio. So if you're interested in becoming a more confident wholesale bundler or taking that next step into wholesale bundles in your business, head over to mommyincome.com slash workshop and check that out. Now, again, make sure you register for next week's show. We want to be able to share with you the tools that we use day in, day out to create bundles to create listings, all of the things that we use regularly to grow our Amazon businesses and make them more and more profitable. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope to see you live on Monday night. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you all soon.